I did it. I said goodbye to paper planners forever and I organized my entire life, both personal and business, digitally. Learn exactly what I do and steal my template in this behind the scenes video. Hey y'all, I'm Kat, biz coach and integrator for creatives, helping you make dreams and dailies happen. Are you ready to switch to a digital planner, but you're not sure what that would look like logistically for you? Or maybe you've already started kind of a hybrid between using a paper planner, but keeping some things digitally in Google Calendar or on some sort of system like Trello or Asana, and it's just not working and you don't know if it can. This video is for you. See, back in 2018, I decided it was time because of where I was at in my business and the season of life that I was entering into that I needed to start using a digital planner. So in 2018, I started to make the transition. But y'all, I love paper planners. I mean, if you know, you know, right? Like there's just a love around getting a brand new planner, getting to fill in all of the dates, using sticky notes, washi tape, different color highlighters, all the things I know. It's amazing. <laughs> so what I wanted to do when I first switched to the digital planner was create a hybrid model where I could still use my paper planner, but also keep things digitally that I knew the business needed and my team needed and my family needed but it just didn't work. So I spent about a year trying to make that method work and I just couldn't find a good rhythm for myself. I felt like things were getting lost in the shuffle. So if that sounds like you, you are not alone. In 2019, I decided I was going to create my own digital planning template and it's on a system that I love called Trello. So what I wanna to do today is show you, so we're gonna flip the screen, I'm gonna show you exactly how I keep track of all the things in Trello. You're also going to get free access to this template. So if you just click the link below, you will be able to download the two My Week Trello templates that I have created. And in this video, I'm gonna explain both of them to you so you understand why one might be more beneficial for you than the other, and you can kind of pick and choose and customize it based on your needs for this season of your life and your business. But before I flip the screen, I do want to take like a 1,000 foot view and talk to you briefly about how I have used this system in my business overall. So Trello is where I keep track of all of the tangible to-dos. All right. It's where I'm making lists. I'm keeping track of tasks. I'm organizing workflows. I'm able to mobilize my team. It's got all of the nitty gritty in the weeds details. Trello does not keep track of my appointments. I use Google Calendar for that. So Google Calendar is what I choose to use to organize all of the other things. I wanna know when I have calls, when my husband has calls, um, personal appointments, business appointments, all of that exact times for things is on Google Calendar. And then I go to Trello to get into the nitty gritty, what do I need to do every single day on the calendar based on what my appointments and what my to-dos are. So what this looks like for me is when I start my work day, I'm immediately pulling up Google Calendar and I'm pulling up my My Week Trello template and I'm looking at the two in tandem. I'm taking a look at my entire week on Google Calendar and seeing, okay, how have the appointments shaken out? What's going on with my son's school? Do we have some like after school things that I need to be thinking about too? What about marketing? Because I have a marketing section on my Google Calendar. So I just take a, a look at everything, all the things going on and then I go to Trello and I'm looking at the actual tasks that I need to complete on those days. So Google Calendar, appointments and times, Trello task management. Now let's flip the screen and let me show you how I use all of this together. And don't forget, you can steal my templates below. Just click that link and you can download your My Week Trello templates today. 
Okay, y'all, let's take a look at how I organize my week with Google Calendar and with my My Week Trello templates. Now, I mentioned that Google Calendar is where I keep track of all of the actual appointments and like physical dates on the calendar. I do that by utilizing my calendars over here on the left. You can see I have quite a few. I'm able to micromanage and really organize the business so I can click on one calendar and I can see, okay, here's the calls that are coming up. I can click on marketing and I can see what's going on in marketing. I can click on projects and I've given myself some project time. We've also got our out of office in here. So many different things are micromanaged on the calendar. The calendar also syncs with Zoom. So say I am creating um, an appointment, um, I can immediately integrate with Zoom and get that Zoom link. I'm in Zoom a ton with my clients. So I love that everything is right here, all integrated on my Google Calendar. So at the beginning of every week, I am typically checking all of these <laughs> and taking a look at every single thing, personal to business, all of it, and getting a bird's eye view of what's happening on my week. Then... I'm gonna come over here and take a look at my My Week Trello templates. Now, I have two different templates available for you guys and they are free. So just click that link below and um, y'all can go ahead and grab them. And what I'm gonna do is show you the templates and like the reasons behind why one might be better for you than another. And then I've also got my own board pulled up here. Um, so you can see how I've taken a template and tweaked it ever so slightly to really fit my own business needs. So let's start with the My Week Two Week Guidebook. So on this particular template, I want to get a view of my week over a two week time period. I actually created this template um, right after I had my daughter. Um, I was stepping back into work just a few weeks postpartum. I wasn't able to take a very long maternity leave with her due to 2020 life. Um, but when I stepped back in, I realized that I needed to be able to see things in a two week time frame. Like looking at something one week at a time wasn't working for me. Every single day felt very different because of just newborn life and life with her. And so I needed a way to kind of tackle my things, my, my client projects and my own business projects in like two week sprints. So that is the vision for this board. Um, what I have here is weekly work. So you know that every week you might have some marketing work and some maintenance work that needs to get done. And so this is really helpful as a reminder for you, things that you don't want to forget. And I love to think about my business in those two umbrellas of marketing and maintenance. What's happening on the marketing end? Am I getting some things out and scheduled to attract new clients? And then am I serving my current people really well and focusing on the maintenance in the business? So You've got this weekly work here and you can change the due date every week. So say, you know, you're getting started and it's like the first week of August. And so you want this to be due on August 1st. And then at the end of the week, you're going to change the due date to August 8th. So you just change that due date based on what the week is that you're working on. And then you have the ability based on the fact that you can see each of the days right here to add in new things. So say you you are going to be focusing, maybe you're a website designer and you're going to be um, designing for May. And that is um, one of your to-dos. You know that, okay, that's going to be happening on Tuesday. Tuesday, you're really focusing in on designing for May, write two blogs, schedule um, emails and schedule the emails. That's going to be your Wednesday. So you get the drift. You can go through based on what you're seeing on your Google Calendar, what you know needs to happen based on deadlines and, and time-sensitive details in the business, and create a two-week system that feels really, really doable for you. Now, what else is on this My Week board? So the first board that I skipped over when we started is our quarterly goal list. I love quarterly goal planning, as y'all know, or you know if you've been following me for a while. And so quarterly goals keep me in check and will hopefully keep you in check with what are you working on over the next 90 days. So I like to have my quarterly goals right there on my My Week um, planner so that I am looking at them every single day when I'm looking at my My Week board. 
So then we've got your this week and next week. So we've got your two week sprints. Now these other lists are just additional lists to be helpful for you. Um, if you, you will in your business have various offers. So I have a list like offer one and offer two. So this might be, um, just let's say, um, wedding planning. And then maybe you also do coaching. So you want to have these here as your list. So then this just reminds you of like some of the nitty gritty specific details that your clients need from you in wedding planning. And then same thing for coaching. So it's all right here on one board. You can see your two week sprint, but then you also can see some client details and client to do's and be able to move things over into that two week time frame as you are working on details. I also have a list here for marketing to do's, similar thought process rather than um, you know, necessarily having to keep things on another board, you can have a list right here of what's happening marketing wise to help you stay on track. And then new ideas, it's always great to have a parking lot list on our boards, education for you, um, any courses that you might be taking um, so that you can easily access them. And then I love having a duty day once a month in my business um, for both business and personal to be able to tackle some things that tend to get, um, you know, backed up in the business. So that's a look at the two week guidebook. Now, the other template and the one that I am actually going off of right now in my business is a theme day system. Theme days is kind of the opposite of the two week guidebook. So two week guidebook, you're seeing things in two week sprints. You're not necessarily focusing on one specific type of to do every day because your weeks and days are changing so constantly. Theme days, you're laser focusing. You are in a season of your life and in your business where you can have a theme or a topic for every day of the week, and then you can organize your to-dos based on what that topic is. Um, so this board similarly laid out. We've got quarterly goals as the first list, but then now we've got a list for each day of the week rather than having it um, laid out vertically, I've laid it out horizontally. So you can see these example theme days, prep day, content day, appointment day, project management, and catch up day. So based on what you know you need to do in the business, you're going to create theme days that make the most sense for the to do's that you're doing the most frequently. So you can like update these to make sense for you. Um, we've also got that new ideas, your, um, education and then the duty day. So very similar, you know, in some of these other lists, it's just the fact that this one, there's one list for the whole day, whereas the two week guidebook, it's two lists for a two week time frame. Now, what am I doing? Let me show you guys like a little peek at what mine looks like. So I have, instead of having a quarterly goal list, mine has yearly goals at the top and then each quarter broken down below. I've got some quick links here. So linking to some other boards for myself, my own little parking lot list. And then I do follow a theme day system. So I have my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, where I know what I need to be working on on each day. Um, and then I've got some other lists down at the end for maternity leave because I am gearing up to take some time off for this next little one. Um, so as you can see, this is something that I'm actively utilizing in my business and it's something that you can tweak to make fit what you need for your business. So whether it's a theme day system or whether it's a two week guide book system. I hope seeing what I do and what the possibilities are for you was really helpful. I ultimately just want to encourage you to give it a shot. If you feel like because of the season of business and season of life you're in, doing something something digitally makes sense for you, try it out. I would suggest trying it out for at least 30 days because it will take some time to get into a groove. You will probably miss writing some things on a paper planner. I do still have a notebook or sticky notes on my desk sometimes just if I like need that like 
pen and paper kind of feeling. Um, but overall, this has been an incredible transition for the business. I'm able to work with my team better. I'm able to organize all of the details for our clients and our own business on the go because with Trello, I can look at it on my iPad or my phone or my computer. Um, it's just overall been a wonderful transition. And so I hope that you find my free templates helpful if you decide to dive into a digital planner using Trello.